So here is the C++ code of the Leanne Pasky algorithm that I discussed. So these are the header files which we need to include. So now we'll go into the main function. We will initialize GD and GM, and then we will initialize. We will declare variables for storing the uh, endpoints of the line and the window parameters, the rectangular window which we are going to create. And some other variables which we will be discussing later. So this is the this x and y1, x2, y2 are the coordinates of our line, and this x min, y min are the coordinates of our rectangle. So you can clearly see that the line is going outside the uh, window, rectangular window, because this x2 and y2 is 300, whereas our x max and y max are only 250 so our line is going to be outside the window so we have to clip it so now we are going into our graph mode by calling the init graph function and then we are creating a rectangle of our specified dimensions and then we are calculating dx and dy as i have mentioned in my algorithm then we are calculating the pk values p0 p1 p2 p3 p4 and also the q qk values q0 q1 q2 q3 and so based on these values now we are checking if any p value is 0 if it is 0 which means that this this is line is parallel to one of the clipping boundary so in that again we are checking if q is equal to 0 and if qi is equal to 0 then if i is less than 2 which means if it is in the left boundary then or we are checking if it is in the right boundary so these all are we are checking and after we are done we we are drawing a line clipped line and uh, that and then we are checking the parameters t1 and t2 firstly they were 0 and 1 but if the line is outside then the parameters will change so based on the new parameters uh, we will calculate the t1 and t2 values here this is the parametric equation which i discussed so using these equations we are calculating the new x values new coordinates of the line which is coinciding with the boundary of the rectangular window so then we are creating our final line then we are delaying for the user to see that line and we are closing our graph so let's see how our code runs we have no errors that's good so yeah so earlier our line was going outside uh, now it is not so that's how it is thank you